Hi, I'm Yuval Yeret. I'm a professional scrum trainer and the steward, one of the stewards of the uh, professional scrum with Kanban class. Why does scrum.org talk about Kanban? The reason is that we believe that if our goal is to improve, you know, how people um, improve the profession of developing software, then uh, scrum teams and scrum practitioners need to be aware of things like uh, flow as well. And Kanban serves as our way to help uh, those teams understand and improve their uh, flow. If you're a scrum practitioner, if you're a scrum master or leader in a scrum environment, we believe it's very important for you to, to actually start to look for flow in uh, whether within your uh, scrum sprints or beyond uh, the scrum sprint and uh, your scrum teams. And, and that's one of the things that we um, discuss in the professional scrum with Kanban uh, today class. And um, most of the time, the, the people that attend uh, those classes are, uh, the audience are indeed scrum masters that are already um, helping their teams implement Scrum and are looking for additional techniques and ways of thinking to reinforce uh, Scrum in their environment. Or uh, sometimes it's uh, Scrum practitioners that are looking for ways to help them do Scrum in environments where uh, it's a bit more challenging to plan for the whole uh, sprint. A lot of time we see people from maintenance or support teams that are more proactive uh, coming in uh, into the class and looking for how to do um, to do Scrum together with uh, Kanban. So in the class we um, establish a baseline of what Kanban is. Uh, we play uh, we use a Kanban exercise in order to uh, see how Kanban uh, works like and then the majority of the class is about okay let's take Kanban and use it to influence uh, or improve the, the Scrum um, events, the Scrum artifacts, um, and uh, look at what, what kind of impact does it have also on uh, Scrum roles. Uh, so that's the majority of day two uh, of the class. Um, participants, whether they're Scrum masters or leaders, get uh, concrete um, techniques and practices for how to do differently back with their teams uh, in order to start to uh, see and improve the, the flow. Um, one of the things that we find is that actually by talking about Kanban and flow, it helps reinforce the, the understanding of Scrum theory. Um, a lot of time when people uh, familiarize themselves or get to know um, Kanban's principles, limiting work in process, visualizing the flow, inspecting and adapting your definition of workflow, using lean and flow metrics like uh, work in process, cycle times, uh, aging, all of those things shed a different light on uh, Scrum itself, which helps people reconnect um, to, to Scrum and uh, see the same Scrum in a different way. One important thing is we don't change Scrum. In, uh, when we're doing Scrum with Kanban, we're reinforcing it. We're um, doing things in a slightly different way while still uh, leaving all of the values and uh, working according to all of the, um, the practices, whether they're the events, the, the artifacts, all the roles, um, following all of the rules of, uh, of Scrum. One last thing that you get if you come to the class is you get a chance to take the PSK1 uh, assessment and see um, what's your level of knowledge of uh, Scrum with Kanban. That's actually something that you can do without coming to the class. There's even a, uh, an open assessment that's free right now uh, that you could take to get, a, a, get an idea for what uh, Scrum with Kanban or professional Scrum with Kanban looks like. Um, and see if it might be interesting for you to, to join the class. Uh, hope to see you in one of the classes. If you have any questions to me or to uh, Daniel Vacanti, uh, the other class steward, uh, feel free to, to reach out. Thank you. Bye-bye.